This is a pretty neat outcrop. I uh, am at a place called Gem Lake, which is on Lumpy Ridge in Rocky Mountain National Park. And what we're looking at here are some really ancient granites. But there's a couple of interesting features here that are more complicated than just typical granite. So one thing you'll notice is in this particular outcrop, there's this stuff that is uh, almost horizontal and looks a lot, at first glance, kind of like sedimentary layering. That's not sedimentary layering. This isn't a sedimentary rock. This is an intrusive igneous rock. And those are just fractures, fairly closely spaced fractures, fairly regularly spaced fractures that are related to the release of stress. Granites, you'll recall, form deep under the earth in the crust with lots of pressure. Here's a chipmunk for scale. Um, and when they get up to Earth's surface, then that pressure is released. And um, as it is released, the rock can expand upward. Um, not by a lot, but by enough that it actually is greater than the inherent strength of the rock and it causes it to break. The other thing that you'll see here is running at a diagonal, sort of for me down toward the lower left, is a dike, all right? And this is a, a dike that's characterized by really big crystals. Um, like from where I'm sitting here, there are some enormous uh, feldspar crystals right up here. That's a pegmatite dike. And pegmatites are typically um, late in the, the intrusive game. They're, they're a late stage intrusion. Typically when there's a lot of fluids left over, um, water, um, carbon dioxide, things like that, that are fluid because they're under tremendous pressure, but a lot of um, ions can get dissolved in those fluids and they end up um, growing these nice big crystals that uh, are, are later than the rest of the granite because you can see it cuts across it. And <clears throat> you can also see that the exfoliation joints, the, the unroofing stress relief joints that are almost horizontal here, they cut across that um, pegmatite as well, just not quite the same because it's, it's got different mechanical properties because the grain size is so much larger. But you can see like right here, for instance, there's, there's definitely one that cuts across it and here's another one. So that's uh, evidence that the, the fracturing came after the intrusion of the pegmatite. So pretty neat little outcrop, uh, the sort of thing that just uh, makes me really happy when I run across this out in the natural world.